three adjectives to describe VBC. Speed. Fearless. <laughs> and passion. What, what VBC excels at is solving problems. I'm Vaughn Buckley. I'm the founder and CEO of the Volumetric Building Companies and we produce modular housing throughout really the world. Volumetric construction is really distinguished from other forms of off-site construction in the way that it's pre-finished. Volumes or modules are produced in a factory to a 90 plus percent completion rate. The goal of volumetric construction is really to put as much labor into the unit as possible, therefore releasing the field from that obligation. We're at 510 North Broad Street in Philadelphia and this is a 365 module, 256,000 square foot, largest modular wood frame modular on the East Coast. And this is the most typical module that we've produced for this building. So you get two units out of each module. It's very efficient, saves on transport. You get more bang for your buck. These are self-contained units. All the appliances were shipped. How you see it is how we deliver it. The job site across the street started construction around the same time that we did here at 510. So that kind of showcases some of the advantages and time-saving abilities of modular construction. VBC has been a very organic growth experience. It began in 2009. I was uh, at that time the founder and, and became the first employee in 2012. We built single family homes and utilized modular construction for the components to do so. And we learned a lot of hard lessons in modular construction where it works, where it doesn't. By 2015, we started producing multifamily apartment buildings and smaller scale townhome development projects. And then over the ensuing five years, we grew rapidly, 2,000% growth in that time, and started producing buildings three and 400 units in size, which really allowed us to explore the full depth of the modular capability in the marketplace. Volumetric modular construction to me is a way of looking at architecture, not from the outside in or the inside out. It's kind of being able to toggle back and forth in your mind. And I think that's what is interesting and different about what we do is that you have to be able to conceive things as a whole and make sure that as a whole it's a building, right? But you also have to be able to cut it up and slice and dice it and, and look at it as the pieces. And hopefully when you do it that way, you know, the overall sum is greater than any of the individual parts. With VBC having the capabilities within the company to handle architecture, design, engineering, manufacturing, transport, and construction, we're in this really unique position to influence each of those factors without it being at the detriment of the others. If a factory is in charge of manufacturing, they're going to do what's best for the factory. Same for the designer, same for the transportation company. But when you're responsible for all of it, you really need to have a cohesive ecosystem that works together. There's no other side of the table. You have to sit down and work through it as a group. So VBC's platform is a way for us to influence the standards that are encroaching on each of those elements of a construction project and do it in a way that we benefit the project itself. If you buy in to doing things a little bit differently, we've, we've seen success and we've seen developers and contractors and architects realize that with the right partner, it can be easier. We're currently working on a project with VBC right now. It's a mixed-use, mixed-income project. It has a grocery store, an ambulatory medical center, 112 apartments of which 50 to 60 percent of them are naturally occurring workforce housing units. We have 32 4 percent LIHTC units and then we have 18 for sale units. VBC is doing all the residential housing in the project and, and the reason is because there's so many different sources of capital and working with VBC has allowed us to make the numbers work. I think that there's so much opportunity and need for housing, and I think where we're gonna be in the next year is really looking at ways to make the process more efficient and, and really ways to scale. We're really changing the way people think about how housing should be built. And so I think that the future for us and, and the validation that comes with the Ivory Prize says that we need to start looking at things differently in not just off-site construction or in modular, but in construction and affordability in general. The system is broken. So what are we going to do collectively to fix it? And the answer can't be what we've always done.